Welcome back to 4K TV. Today, we diving into a heated situation involving Detroit rapper Skiller Baby and the local police department. You won't believe the drama that's unfolding? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated with all the latest news. Let's get into it. Detroit rapper Skiller Baby is threatening to sue the Detroit police department in the city, claiming harassment by a high-ranking officer who's been sabotaging his concerts and even preventing him from entering events without cause. The 25-year-old rapper who's real name name is Trevon Gardner, shared his frustrations in a viral social media video after his manager reported that his Saturday night concert at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater was cut short. I'm not no activist or nothing, so I don't like doing this type of shit, but every time I perform at home, fire marshals or Detroit police always come shut me down. I already like, I don't even know what I be doing. But they always come shut me down. In response, the department stated it had reviewed the allegations made in the video and denied any wrongdoing towards Skiller Baby or his events. They attributed the cancellations to the rapper's failure to follow city protocols and secure venues with appropriate capacity. Skiller Baby later identified the officer in question as Lieutenant Lasea Rue, who has a controversial history within the department. One officer that just always pick on me, his name is Lieutenant Rue. I think it's the real name of Dan and Dan Rue or something. Every event I'm at, he always try to get me kicked out. Let me tell you some of the stuff this man has done. I don't even like doing this stuff because I don't even be on. I don't even like interactions with police. Like Lieutenant Rue was criminally charged with assault in 2019 for allegedly using a stun gun on a man who did not pose a threat. A turn of department records show that Rue had violated policy at least 17 times since joining the force in 2004, but he rarely faced discipline. Despite this, the department promoted Rue to lieutenant in 2022. Skiller Baby's manager, Dewan Wiggins, also known as Eastside Wan, claimed that the Detroit Fire Marshal shut down Saturday's concert because there were too many people on stage. However, Erica Banks, marketing director with the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater, stated that the show was neither halted nor stalled. This incident is part of a pattern that includes the forced relocation and shutdown of a separate concert related with Skiller Baby's birthday last fall. First of all, I was supposed to make a certain amount of money at my birthday party at my birthday concert last year. He shut me down, made me get a venue, the last minute, the week of, made me get a different venue. I had already paid a certain amount of money. I had to pay 80 more thousand to get another venue, 50 more thousand for production, and a couple more thousand for the 100 security guards. Made me change my stuff the, the day of. He went to Masonic Temple and told them people, I'm a gangbanger and I shoot people and I kill people. I never even been arrested in Detroit. Skiller Baby recounting another incident where Rue tried to prevent him from entering a youth football event at Ford Field. Accusing the rapper of being a gang member, Skiller Baby had attended to support a younger cousin. Like, but like, y'all keep letting this man come to all my events. The second thing he did, I'm trying to, well, my little cousin has been there. Three championships and he's only in the 11th grade going to the 12th. I go to all his games, man. I go to the championship game at Ford Field. This man tried to call the NFL and tell them that I can't come to Ford Field. Come on, man. This is what I'm fighting up against at home with the police. Like, he. He's crazy. Attempts to reach Rue for comment were unsuccessful, and his union did not immediately reply to a request for a comment. Skiller Baby expressed his frustration with the city in his Instagram post, highlighting his contributions to the community through gun buybacks, meet and greets, free concerts, and charity events. He feels these efforts have not been respected, and he quote, I do gun buybacks, I do meet and greets, I do free concerts at home, I buy shoes for the kids, I do back to school events, I do toy giveaways, Ways, toy drives. I just pour it to my city and they don't respect me for it. What do y'all think? Is Skiller Baby being unfairly targeted or is there more to the story? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and remember, if you want to stay on top of all the latest rap news, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching 4K TV. Stay tuned for more updates.